All right, people, welcome back. Another card review. So we are looking at another card from that uh, starter deck 2016. Uh, I know I messed up on the previous card on the... on the. Uh, damn, I forgot the name of the card already. Hold on, people. <laughs> so unprofessional. Uh, the Dramatic Theater. Yeah, the Dramatic Theater. Uh, it says types, and for some reason I'm with attributes. Uh, before I actually recorded the video, I actually watched um, the Underground members, uh, Kisama, review the card, and... Uh, he pretty much kept on doing attributes, 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 and it just got stuck in my head, so, oops, you know. Azuki uh, Tupers aren't perfect, uh, but still, uh, even if it's types, it's still difficult. I'm, uh, DPY Joe uh, also looked at the card, and apparently Perform Majors have 10 types out of the 21 types, so, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice chunk, but still, you know, that's still a lot of types, and you gotta run the, the not good ones uh, along with that, too, so I don't know. And then four types still is still too much for odd eyes, so, there we go. Anyway, we're actually going to be looking at, I guess, the boss monster of the starter deck. So this is Performer Pal, Sly Hand, and Magician. He is a Performer Pal and a Magician. All right. So <laughs> that's a two for one, definitely, right there. Uh, the Light Spellcaster effect, level seven. All right. 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. Stats are fine. Uh, effect reads, you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one Performer Pal monster that is not a Pendulum monster. There are Performer Pal monsters that aren't Pendulum besides Donkey. Donkey's the only one I can think of. Like, I don't know Performer Pals that well, and when you see them in the competitive scene, when you see them with, uh, you know, when they were Pepe and now they're Draco, Draco Pals, it's, it's, it's mostly just Donkey. So I, I can't really think of a Performer Pal that's not a Pendulum Monster, but, I mean, you really don't need to special summon this from your hand. You can just Pendulum Summon it, because, you know, then you're Magicians. You know? Just go ahead and Dragon Pit it, Pendulum Summon it, along with your Odd Eyes, and there you go. So... I'm not sure if you're going to be special summoning from your hand that way, but you can special summon it from your hand by pendulum summoning, so that's a thing. It's just, it's not a pendulum-based monster, so once it's dead, to the graveyard with you, or to wherever th the current game status specifies, but to the graveyard with you. Uh, the other effect, which is uh, weird <laughs> and ironic, you know, first uh, Kisama messes up because me messed up, but I'm not going to mess up like a, a DP messed up. Uh, apparently, something with the translation and being in Japanese, uh, this next effect that you can discard one card and target one face-up monster so one face-up card not monster one face-up card on the field and destroy it uh dp before like the translation all that thought that this effect wasn't once per turn it's once per turn so uh it went from being like ooh, interesting to meh <laughs> you know to, to really just meh <laughs> uh so yeah discard a card target one face-up card in the field so while uh, Dragon Pit's like, hey, you know, I can, I can get that back row, and, and Dragon Pulse is like, hey, I can get the monsters. This is just like, hey, as long as it's face up, you just caught a card and pop it, and it doesn't even have to be a, uh, I believe they say Pendulum card? I, th I think it's a Pendulum-based monster for uh, Pulse and Pit, I think. Off the top of my mind. I'm not going to research it. Don't tell me in the comments. Well, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but that's not a terrible effect. It's just, you know... If it wasn't once per turn, then, you know, wow, it's just like, just pitch pop, pitch pop, pitch pop, pitch pop. But still, I mean, once per turn, you can go ahead and discard a card and pop a face-up card and fail. It's not terrible. No, it's not. It's really not. Uh, with a combination of the Magicians, uh, I can see both points of view. So they kind of threw that first effect in where it's like, hey, you know, we, uh, it's a starter deck, you know. They don't want you to go too extreme. Seems like they want you to play more of the Performer Pals that aren't just a pendulum base. And this guy's like, hey, that's not a pendulum base monster. And explore the Performer Pal. As a starter deck, uh, since they're just going to throw in a whole bunch of Performer Pals that aren't pendulum and you're going to get the worst, but you're not going to get the full experience of the pendulum base mechanic, it's a starter deck. They, they, I mean, that, that might be a little bit too complicated of a mechanic for starters. I still don't know why they make starter decks. I mean... They seem like a waste of money to me, because it's not like you're going to pick up three starter decks and slap them together like a structure deck. I mean, sometimes it doesn't even seem like it has any structure at all, these starter decks. It's just like, why did you make this? But, hey, as long as you get a couple of new cards, then maybe they can uh, go ahead and transform into, you know, Draco and Pals or something. But I'm, I'm not seeing a Dranak there or this could be in there. But maybe? It depends on what you want to do with your Magicians. I mean, uh, this guy is level 7, so you can do your rank 7 shenanigans. Um... Uh, with his discard effect, you know, you're already playing multiple Oath Dragons. You go ahead and special summon that Oath Dragon. You can go ahead and uh, get one of your cards back from, I think it's what, get a Pendulum Base Monster, a Magician, or Odd Eyes, or Perform Pal, one of them, uh, back from the graveyard to your hand. So, you know, you can do that play as well. So, it's not terrible. It really isn't. Uh, this card was out while I was playing, like, Odd Eyes Magicians, uh... Uh, Pendulum Magicians back on Daily Duels. I probably put them in in exchange for, like, maybe a one or two of them, uh, Zhengxi or whatever the level 7 
guy is, the dark guy who stops the light monster effects. Because he has the same stats, and while the whole, like, I can negate a light monster effect may be situational, I, you know, I could probably always go with a nice popping of a face-up card on the field, whether it be a monster, or a field spell, or a pendulum zone, so not terrible, it's just not fantastic either, but seriously. Uh, tributing, you can special on this card by tributing of Draco Pal, I mean, a Draco Pal, a Performer Pal monster, it's not a pendulum monster, the only one I can think of is Donkey off the top of my mind, so, meh, so, I guess. Set your pendulum scale, special summon donkey, donkey get your search, then trip off donkey, summon this. I don't know. So tell me what you guys think about this uh, Sly Hand Magician in the comment section below, and uh, tell me what you guys think about starter decks. I, I, at this point, it, it's starting to get to be a waste. Like, I just don't understand. That could, that could be another structure deck that you can slap three together and, and have a new meta. Like, all you're doing is just doing Performer Power, and we already have some version of Performer Power in the meta. So I don't know. This doesn't seem like... Like, hey, hey, we're trying to help the newbie kids, you know, hold their hands, you know. I'm saying, I'm thinking the same thing with DPY, yo. If your child is so young that they're into Yu-Gi-Oh, but instead of having this starter deck teach them how to play, how about if your child's into Yu-Gi-Oh, you learn how to Yu-Gi-Oh and then you teach them. Or, you know, refer them to some Yu-Gi-Tubing channels or something like that. But I don't think just being like, your child comes up to you and being like, hey, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh, and you go down to Walmart and buy them a freaking starter deck. It's like, there you go, now you can learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> so... Yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the card review. Of course, I will be back next week with some more cards to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And yeah, see you guys later.